guys, what's going on? We're Stephen Gamer. I'm back again, and we're about to spotlight a brand new hero today, today, guys. If you can't already tell, she's finally in the game. Wonder Woman is here. As we kind of already knew, she was going to be one of the heroes, one of the seven DC heroes that have been dropped. Uh, let's quickly take a look. We already have five, if you don't already know, if you live under a rock. So, uh, at the top, Batman, Flash, Superman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg. They're all here. I've awakened them all. Incredibly, they look awesome. Today, it's all about her. There's two more that are going to drop, guys. Honestly, I have no idea who it's going to be, guys. They don't keep me in the loop. I have no clue who the last two heroes are going to be. Uh, fingers crossed it's going to be somebody awesome and cool. But right now, let's dig into Wonder Woman right now because I'm kind of digging her right now. She's looking good, guys. She's putting up a good fight as my favorite hero in the game right now. To be honest. Now, I kind of want to apologize because I've already gone ahead and I awakened her because I was so impatient. I really wanted to try her out awakened. I wanted to see what she can do before I made my spotlight. And a uh, small little glitch. The card that you get her on today, I'm sure they're going to change it. But the card that you get her is exactly the same as her awakening card. So, I um, don't know if this is her awakening. This is obviously not her awakened card. This is her original card. So, they haven't implemented the awakened card just yet. All right, just so you guys know. Now, also, a few other things before we start uh, that I want to talk about. All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys is once you purchase her, if you get her at seven stars, you guys already know because you can see this in the game, but you will get a uh, purple egg, which is going to include the brand new pet that they just dropped today as well, Lynx. I have no idea what Lynx is all about. I can't wait to hatch her or him. I've got her in the hatchery. Uh, unfortunately, I can't hatch it today because you're going to have to blow like a good amount, like a thousand gems to hatch it today. So I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow. I'll probably make a separate video on that, guys, right? The second item here that you're going to get is the sixth pet item um, for Wonder Woman, right? It's pretty dope. It's a nice item. Look at all those stats it gives. It's really, really cool. And then you get some chestnuts. Who doesn't love chestnuts? You know what I'm saying? So that's what you're going to get for getting it at seven stars. And then you also have this double purchase uh, event for today. The first one is her awakened item. Five bucks, the awakened item. You can automatically awaken her. It's actually a better deal than purchasing the Celestial Potion because Celestial Potion costs more. So um, this is actually a better deal. And then you get a bunch of chests here. Uh, really quickly, the first one is equipment chest to get her up to purple plus four. From white to purple plus four. And then the other ones are actually pretty cool. One of them is going to give you... Ruin stones, I'll show you what they are, and then the other one is going to give you a uh, pet equipment so five of your pet equipments plus the one that you get from getting your seven stars. So that's how you can get all six all in one day. And then this is another one from orange to orange plus two to fully equipped her. So pretty cool. You can get her from slab to fab. She can be an all powerful hero on literally day one, which is kind of what I you know, obviously, is, that's what I did because you can awaken her today as well. All in one day, guys. Incredible. What an awesome day. It's been a lot of fun playing Soul Hunters today. All right, so let me show you guys what the equipments are, as you can kind of see over there. The Ruin Stones. The top one is a physical crit damage, which is pretty cool. 22% physical crit. The second one is a physical pierce rating, plus 200. And then the third one is your physical crit, all right? Pretty cool. It just makes her, it gives her a lot more damage. And she is, let's take a look at what she does. She is a frontline DPS hero, agile and strong, great at causing chaos amongst the enemy ranks, which is true, guys. She's a frontline tank. Look at that physical attack. That's actually pretty high. 6,000 um, and then another 2,900 with the bonus. I haven't enchanted this item fully yet, so a little bit more when it's all done, but it looks awesome. Let's, before we break down her abilities really quickly, which actually I got to work on them a little bit more. I've only maxed out three of her abilities we'll go into those a little bit further i'm going to show you her items really quickly her pet and her items i put pugsley on her really quickly because it's the only uh orange pet that i kind of had a you know a disposal that i can move around a little bit so i put pugsley on her so i can equip her with all this stuff i don't necessarily think pugsley is a great pet for her because uh, pugsley is literally all about your armor it's going to increase healing increase your physical and magic armor by a lot and then this one is going to increase your attack speed by 60%, which is not bad. And she is a frontline tank, a frontline DPS hero. She's really in the front. She's in front of a lot of heroes. But I don't see her as a physical wall, which I think Pugsley should go on. I really see her as a DPS. You want to 
probably put as much damage as possible on her, so Peggy is probably better. Mika would be uh, pretty good, or one of those high physical heroes you want to put her on. But So that's the pet I got on her. Like I said, I just wanted to put these items on her. Now let's go ahead guys, let's break down these abilities and let's see how she will perform once we take her into a battle later on. So let's get into a battle guys and then I will display all of her skills and abilities in a real life battle. So let's go. Alright boys, let's do what we do best and that is let's break down her abilities. Uh, we'll do it in slow motion, I'll pause the video and we can actually see how she performs. You know what I mean, all her abilities one by one. So, uh, the great thing is, is she begins her, uh, her battle with her fourth ability which is Amazonian Battle Cry. She waves her lasso in the air, raises her teammates morale and intimidates her enemies. Um, Wonder Woman's teammates will be able to control targets for a few seconds longer after using a mind control ability. Alright, so this is where the mind control ability, heroes with mind control, go really, really good with her, right? Any affected enemies will be dealt fire damage when uh, control is relinquished. So when they're when the mind control ability is done, they're going to take damage, while teammates will regenerate health and energy over time, alright? So... The, your teammates are going to regain health and energy after they use the mind control ability on a hero, which that hero is going to take fire damage when the mind control ability is done. Crazy. Um, even if they don't use that fire, you know, even if, if you don't use a mind control uh, hero on your team with her, uh, your teammates are still going to get a morale boost and it's going to intimidate your opponents. So it's doing a bunch of different jobs all at once, which is pretty cool. Uh, this ability lasts for the whole duration of the battle once it's activated. And as you can see, it's activated right in the beginning of the battle. So you really, uh, it's awesome. I think it's a really, really sick ability. It's what makes her who she is. That's really what makes her really good. Now let's break down her second ability here. Warrior Strike. She flies over to the enemy side, infil infiltrating her their ranks, causing significant damage to any targets in her path. So as you can see, she's going to slash right through everybody. Look at all those damages there. Hang on. Boom! Double damage, which is kind of strange. Um, I didn't know it does tw two times the damage. So she hit once, and then it, another one again for 25,000 damage. 22, 24. Uh, none of them were... Oh, actually, they were... Four of them were crits. One of them is only 10,000 there. So I think like four of them were crits. But either way, guys, this one is pretty crazy because her ability right now is only at level one. So I haven't even really worked on her second ability, which is insane. I wonder how much it's going to do at level 100. It's going to do so much more damage. And this is where damage, you know, her damage really, really comes from. So it's pretty crazy how much damage she's doing with this AoE. So uh, look out for this ability here as well. And then right after this one, as you can see, she's going to really gear up right now. She's going to use her third ability, Amazonian Shield. This one is pretty basic. She smashes the target with her shield, causing damage, and then knocking them back. As you can see, she's getting ready, and then boom, she just hits them with her shield. Uh, knocks people back, deals some damage. So, it's not a really great ability, but it's an okay ability. And then she kind of repeats the pattern now. She goes back into her... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I almost missed it. Now, I've activated her Awakened ability, guys. Let's take a look at what Grace of the Misera uh, does. Wonder Woman claps her hands. Clap, clap. We go and clap, clap. She claps her hands together to create a frightening shockwave that sends enemy targets hurling into the air. Uh, consequently, reducing their physical armor. That's good. And leaving them stunned. Oh, right. So, it looks pretty cool. And I love the animation, guys. Check it out. Oh, she literally knocked the screen out of my whole page here. So she's going to pretty much uh, gather up a bunch of power, clap her hands, and it's going to just send everybody in all different directions. And then it's going to stun them. As you can see there in the back, Ember is stunned. The dragon is stunned. So everybody's stunned. Uh, now let's break down her awakened ability. Once you awaken her, Wonder Woman is able to effectively block flying projectiles and has a chance to rebound the projectiles back towards the enemy unless they are ultimates. So, this is where I think, you know what I mean, her power just goes, like, oh, I hate this awakening. I love all of her other abilities. I really don't love this awakening. I don't know why they put this on her. I mean, this was a chance to really blow her out of the water. I mean, she could have been literally the best hero in the game. She has those type of abilities. But this one doesn't really put her, oh, God, over the top, really. It just gives her a chance 
I mean, she's gonna block... She's pretty much gonna block all flying projectiles, which only a certain amount of heroes use projectiles, robots, you know, uh, robotic heroes. Um, I'm thinking right now, the brand new hero, Frenzy Copter, that dude be launching some, you know, projectiles, even his ultimate, but that doesn't work, but even his, I mean, none his ultimate are projectiles. So I'm thinking she could be a good counter when you're facing robotic teams, something like that. But it's kind of really only situational this ability here it doesn't really do anything crazy all the time it's just very situational so you know what i mean i think they could have done a lot better with the awakening but either without that i think she's still incredible guys i mean she's got some pretty cool abilities and uh, it is what they say she does a lot of damage and she really just puts chaos all over the battlefield so let's finish this off here Let's check out our all once again here. She's going to start off with her lasso. And here's the ultimate once again, guys. Boom! AoE damage. Sends everybody back. And it stuns them for a good amount of time. And then she just goes crazy. This is just her going to work without stopping her. Uh, I do love all the stuns. It's really going to be a game changer, I think, in the arena. She's going to be awesome in the goddamn arena, guys. So that's where you want to use her at. Arena Hero. Don't know about any other places just yet. I mean, it seems like she might actually be pretty good in the raids as well. I mean, she's, look at all this AoE damage, the stuns. Crazy stuff, guys. Crazy stuff going on here. So the battle is pretty much over there. Now let's head back. All right, guys. So there you have it. That's Wonder Woman in action. She looks pretty awesome. Does a lot of damage. It seems like she's going to be killing it with the damage. AoE damage. Plus disrupting everybody, throwing people around. Her ultimate is awesome it's gonna really clump up everybody so putting her in a nice uh you know team that does area damage could work uh also uh, think of some heroes that are going to crowd control their mind control because that's gonna also work as well so she's got some synergies uh she has the dc hero also as well though so uh could work with this team uh, i don't recommend this team though i don't really think it's really good it's just straight up a lot of ass kicking right here a lot of damage dealing no magic just straight off physical ass annihilation but uh, i don't recommend this team so we'll see who else they're gonna add here i'm thinking they gotta add some kind of a magic hero don't you think like where are all the the magic heroes all dc heroes are all physical come on dc universe make some magic heroes but um anyways guys that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one wonder woman two thumbs up she's pretty dope uh, I'm loving her. I can't wait to really finish her off all the way, max out all her abilities, and then just really try her out like really hard and uh, put her in the arena, guys. Really, really cool. And you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's go into the arena. I'm in third place right now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to see if we can get top spot here. Let's see with Wonder Woman before I go. One last battle here, guys. Let's go. Let's take a look. First place. What's going to happen? Hmm. I might I say. Oh, what a great job they did with adding this fast forward button. I'm not going to use it now, but it's making life so much easier, guys. Fast forwarding battles really helps out because, let's let's face it, arena battles, you cannot really uh, help because it's auto battle, which means you can't really do anything yourself. It's all, um, you know, auto battle. So fast forwarding, it does help out a lot to speed it up. Here she goes. She's still alive. Most of my heroes are almost dying. And we got the win. Put us up again at number one, guys. How did she do? Ooh, look at that. She did a little bit more than Superman. Uh, but Superman has Peggy as his orange pet. And so does Flash. Flash is a beast. He does a lot of damage. You know what I'm saying? Flash is awesome. But I'm really impressed with Wonder Woman, guys. Her pet is not even uh, Peggy, which would probably give her a lot more damage. But damn. Doing big things, and that gives us the number one spot. So it's perfect. Um, number one, we did it, baby. We made it to the number one spot once again. And I'm gonna end it off at that, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I love you guys. Be cool. I'll see you on the next Soul Hunters video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.